Hello again, everyone. Um, last night I watched a Facebook Live from gummyapan.co.uk. Um, such fun seeing all the things that uh, Matthew was showing. And I did wonder whether you would like me to do a Facebook Live. Um, I've never done it. I don't know how you do it, but it'd be interesting to see. I don't know what the process is. I don't know how you film and see what comments are coming, whether you have to have two computers or what. I think I'm going to have to do a bit of research, but uh, I'd be interested in knowing your thoughts on the prospect, shall we say. Anyway, here I've got another product from my last mystery bag from um, gummyapan.co.uk, miserprint, and it's of a sardine tin a stamp of a sardine tin and when I looked at it I thought what does it make me think of and it made, made me think of like a creature using it for a bed it looks kind of cozy to me so I thought well let, let's see what we can do so I stamped it first of all and then I cut it out and with um, a craft knife I cut out this bit so that I could tuck a creature inside with the head popping out, looking as if they've got the head on a pillow. And you may wonder why I've cut this off. A, well, there's two reasons, really. Um, one, it would be terribly, terribly difficult to cut out all of that and keep it intact. And B, if I want to have a bit of um, dimension, I can stamp this onto my card panel and then stick this over the top and the 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 key to open the, the tin will be already there on the card for me. So that's what I thought I would do. Having looked at this, um, I can see that as I was cutting on the line, there are a few places where there's bits of white showing. So what I'm going to do is with a black marker, I'm just going to go around the edge. When you... Um, as in paper piecing, when you do go and stick something on top of another, an identical print, often mistakes in, in trimming are masked by the fact that there's a good image underneath. And I'm not doing a brilliant job with this, it must be said, but there we go. Let's just do in here. Are you, can I use this one? I'm not doing a very good job. Can you see? But it might have just added a little distressing. It's rather a juicy marker, I think, this Pro Marker. I may have filled it up. I'll see what it's like when I paint it. And if it does look awful, then I will do cut out another one. But let me put the card base away for a minute and I will just stamp this onto the card like this about there and I've got I picked out three old stamps here forget well soon kind of thing this one says wishing you well this one says get well soon and this one says get well soon well this one I think kind of suits the line of this picture plus the kind of scraggy old bird that we've got here I don't know who he is or what he is but um he makes me smile I love him so we have to stamp this, we have to stamp that. So let me do that first and then I'll colour that in. And if, if it doesn't look any better, then I'll have to do another one. But we will see. Okay. And I've, I wondered about putting it this way or that way or whatever. And I thought because he's looking out, it's going to look better if it's if it's upright like this. So that's what I'm going to do. So just about in the center and I'll press. Okay. Oh, and it's not very good, doesn't matter. That's the bit that's important because this is going to go exactly on the top like that. So it doesn't matter about that bit there. Okay, let's just put that one. No, I won't. I'll do the I'll do the sentiment next while I've still got ink around. Let's do the sentiment. I like this. This is an art impressions one. Very old, but you'll almost tell by the font really which manufacturer it is. And I've looked on the stamp and it is pretty well, you know, straight 
with the thing. So if I get this parallel to the bottom, it should be straight. There we go. Looks okay. Very good. Right. Now, the next thing I want to do is just to um, colour my sardine tin and then sort out the bird. Um, to colour this on here, I'm going to use this silver marker. I've got a set of three of these from uh, Crofter's Companion. It's a Spectrum Noir. And I'm just going to go very gently into here. Can you imagine how difficult this would have been to cut out? There we go, it's done. Right, now let's colour this. And what I want to colour this with is some paint. I've got my acrylic paints out here. So I'll put that on one side for a moment. And we'll see if we can colour this. Let's take this off here. A couple of little brushes. And I've got various sort of metallic-y greys. I think I've got one, two, three that I could use there for various bits of this. So let's just see how we go on. Can you see how that's bleeding in there? But I don't think it's going to matter. So I think I will start with the darkest. Takes a bit of um, getting strong enough, if you know what I mean, getting enough of the palette, the cake, uh, mixed with the water. Right. And I'll put this around the outside, I think. Now I'm going to put a bit of shadow under here. Put a little bit on the top there. And I think I'll put a little bit on the inside here. Now I'm going to use the middle colour. Again, I need to get plenty of water on it to activate the, the colour. Okay, now let's do this. Need a bit more pigment. Okay, now I'm going to use the lightest colour. May have to add a little bit of the deeper ones with, but we'll see how we go on. I've had these for ages, these uh, metallic paints. Okay. can go over both with this. There. How do we look? Not too bad, I don't think. There's our tin. I think I need just a little bit of the medium colour just to tone down this bit here. Just a little bit. That's better. That's a lot better. There we go. We'll let that just dry and see how we go. Right. Wash the brush. Now I'm going to colour the bird and I've cut three 
because my idea is, well, I did cut three and I've lost one. How do I do it? Oh, there it is. Goodness me. Right, three. One, two, three. What I want to do is to have the bottom one complete. The neck, let's do it on the blue and then you'll see it better. Um, the bottom one complete. The next one with the eyes out so that the eyes look recessed on the bottom layer. And then the last one, I'm just going to cut out the beak and stick the beak on top so it's sticking forward just a little. So let me see if I can get those bits out. I'll just try with a, that's the one I'm going to keep complete. So I'm going to colour his eye. Let's just do that first. Colour the the eyes first of all. It doesn't matter that it's going everywhere because the, the surround is going to be covered by the next layer. So let's just get the eyes out of this one. Um, if I cut that, then the, the nose will fall off, won't it? Let's just do this. Whoops. There we are. Eye out. Eye out. I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing, but there are just tiny little places where these pieces are attached. And with just a, a touch, almost, you can just remove them. Okay. So that's the next layer. So this is going to be the colour of him. And I, I thought, as he's not feeling very well, I thought I'd do him kind of greeny, greeny sort of colour. So let, let's just, let's just colour him in. Oh my goodness. Right, here's a green. Let's do this one. And I can colour over the beak because I'm going to put another layer on top so you know he'll 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 get the right color on the top layer okay so he's green he's not very well bless and i thought i'd tone him down with a little bit of blue let's just put a bit of blue around the edges and his neck under his arms around the side of his wings bless him he's not been feeling very special and there, and here. Oh dear, poor chap. Right, I'll just blend that in with the green one again. Oops, there we go. I'm not bothering at the bottom of him because he's going to be tucked in the bed. He's going to be tucked inside. So now I can stick that onto there. Look, that looks all right, doesn't it? So let's just do the little bit of gluing and stick these two layers together. Here's my, what's it called? Barely art. Right. I don't want any on his eyes, obviously. but the rest of him needs a bit. It doesn't matter about the feet, actually, because they're not going to show. Okay. Pop this on the top. And line him up. There we go. I did actually just snip that one layer so that I could have his wings hanging out of the bed. Just that bit there. Just. There. That's enough. There we go. There we go, that's it. There's his... Now I just want to cut the beak out of this one. And it's going to be quite simple. This is just one, one little s 
snip at the top. I think I'll colour it before I cut it out because I can hang on to it if it's inside here. I'm going to give him this sort of like he's got a red nose, you know, he's, he's got a gold. Right, now I'm going to cut that bit. There we go. Now we can put a bit of glue on his nose, on his nose, on his beak. There we go. I'll just give the pupils of his eyes a bit of a dot. That's too fat. Oops, threw that one on the floor. This one will do. There we go, just a fine liner. Right, now he is going to go in here. So where is my card front again? Here it is. That's got to be stuck on there, just around the outside. Let me do that, put some glue on, but just around the outside. You can see I did it once and didn't like the other side, so I, I did it again. This little gizmo was made by Anne from New York State's husband. Now that was a mistake. I mean, did it go across there? Yes, I did. I'm going to have to stick the, I'm going to have to stick the bird in, otherwise it'll stick to the bottom, and I won't be able to get the bird in afterwards. Okay, there we go. Right. There. Now, at the moment, I can't think of anything else I'd like to do to him, but um, I will put this up on foam tape. I'm just wondering about a little something around the edge, you know, just something to take off the starkness of it. But I quite like it as is, to be honest. Get well soon. Let's put him on foam tape and then we'll, we'll see how we go. And find the end. Here it is. I got this little bird when I went to the craft show at Newbury. Bought it from Matthew and then Annie. So, so many lovely things. It's just so hard to decide. Right. Just a little glue stick. And there we go. I did wonder about putting a kind of a pillow in really, but um, that's the reason why I put the glue stick on. It wasn't quite in the right place. That's better. Yes, I did wonder about putting a a pillow in there, but not sure. He's cute though, isn't he? <laughs> oh dear me. Anyway, 
another bit of fun another bit of gummy pan gummy pan fun so as ever thank you so much for watching and uh, i hope you have a lovely lovely day and uh, i'll see you again next time